Okay, so this is a demo of our EM covert channel attack. What we have here is our receiver side equipment, which is, you can buy all of this in a store. So basically, this is a loop antenna. You use things like this to improve slightly a reception of your AM radio stations and so on. Uh, what we have then is the antenna is connected to the software-defined radio box and you can buy something like this for about a thousand dollars and most of the cost is because it needs to interface to the computer and kind of send all of the signal to it. Otherwise, you know, we can actually do this with a normal radio. Then what we have is the laptop here and uh, this one is going to basically do the processing for our decoding. So what's going to happen is basically the uh, antenna is capturing the signals, the radio is basically uh, going to amplify them and then this is going to try to discover, uh, analyze the signals and try to discover what's going on. So, so this is basically just a kind of computing behind this and all of this can be made a lot more compact really by, by you know, using specific frequencies and a normal radio and so on, but for research purposes it's, it's very useful to actually be able to reprogram it and so on. Okay, so now let's go to the other side of the experiment which is through that wall. Uh, what we have here is a supposedly private office of my colleague Alenka and uh, so the idea is that sh somebody might sit here and uh, actually type something on this other laptop and uh, the antenna is something like three feet away from us, up from this laptop through that wall. Uh, what's going on here is we installed a virtual machine with uh, a normal Linux but uh, modified so that its keyboard driver uh, has a pattern of activity that is changing depending on the bits that correspond to the key that has been pressed. So basically when you press a key on a PC keyboard there is an 8-bit code that is generated and what we did is we modified the keyboard driver to uh, basically these bits are you know, there are eight bits, and for each of these bits, the keyboard driver performs some memory activity when there is a one, and performs uh, activity that doesn't involve memory accesses when there is a zero. So what's going to happen is, there will be a pattern of activity on this laptop that corresponds to uh, what has been pressed, and then that will result in EM emanations from the processor and the laptop that uh, will be hopefully received by that antenna. Now, uh, we have actually turned off the Wi-Fi, there is no network connection here, this is just a power cord and what we are going to do now is start the experiment. 